Alrighty guys and gals, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to the Misty Mountain Gaming Channel. If you're new, welcome to the Misty Mountain Gaming Channel. Thanks for choosing to hang out with me for a little bit. Hi Big E. This is World of Warcraft Shadowlands. Right up here on the screen, this is Miss Susie. This is our human mage. We're hanging out here at uh, Raven Hill. Da, 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 da. And uh, we're going to be helping out uh, Jitters over here. I think this is Jitters. Yes, it is. We helped him out last episode. We're going to be continuing to help him out a little bit here. Uh, he wants us to get some black bear brains. They're going to be all along this uh, western edge here. We'll run up this way. We also have a quest to kill 20 ghouls. And then we also have this uh, Remains of Morbent Fell. And I'm not sure. Uh, let me look at that quest. Interesting. It doesn't say it's an elite quest. I don't. Maybe he's not an elite anymore. Anyway, it looks like a black bear right there. Let's get into it. Hope everyone's doing well today. Sure do. Oh, he's actually regening health there <laughs> with this little hibernate. The barn owl. Anyway, I'm kind of proud of myself. <laughs> well, for the last hour, I a little over an hour, I have been studying, watching videos, and studying. Uh, how to solve a Rubik's Cube. <laughs> and uh, I'm proud to report. Look at that. Huh? Look at that. Solved. First time I've ever solved one. First time I saw a Rubik's Cube was probably, I, I don't know, 1981, 1982. I don't remember when they come at, came out. I could only ever solve uh, two sides. And I think I solved two sides by accident. One side, you know, pretty easy, right? It's pretty easy to solve one side of a Rubik's Cube. But uh, apparently there's many different ways to solve a Rubik's Cube. Uh, but I think the same principles apply. But uh, it was more complicated than I expected. There are some algorithms, apparently, that the uh, Rubik's Cube community uh, has come up with. Some things you have to memorize. And I suspected it was, you know, kind of like that. But there's also some basic guidelines on how to position certain faces of the cubes and corner pieces. And, yeah. Anyway, I learned the method that I learned uh, was something where you make uh, a daisy face first. Probably already messed that up. But you, uh, you have a yellow dot in the middle. Uh so surrounded by white and then you flip that around could i do it again without watching the video no <laughs> but i'm gonna practice i'm gonna be practicing it and uh i mean i'm not looking to do like speed runs i don't care about that i just think it's very cool to be able to pick up a rubik's cube and solve it maybe it takes me 10 minutes but uh i'm okay with that anyway that's how i spent my last hour very productive. Pretty cool hibernation trick they have there. Pretty cool. Getting some bear brains. It's interesting that in this part of the forest here in Shadowlands, it's black bears and these barn owls. In a classic, it's uh, 
it's wolves and spiders. I don't believe there are any bears. I don't think there are. It's interesting, the changes. I know there's spiders on the other side of Ravenhill. There's the cemetery up there. We'll get the rest of these brains and then we'll go check out what's going on with Mormont Fell. I know in Classic he's an elite and that thing, uh, it's the most dangerous thing. Aside from um, uh, Stitches, it's the most dangerous thing in uh, Duskwood. Anyway, this should be the camp up here. Oh, everybody's sleeping. Oh. Oh, this used to be... I'm used to this being... Um, hello there. I wonder if we can do this here. I'm used to this being the camp where... Sven is. Pop this. Okay, I'm gonna loot that and we're gonna run. <laughs> Marina de Sirius. Okay, what if we get there? Uh, leather, can't wear leather. It's okay, we got a rare down. Yeah, that's interesting. I did not expect that to be grave robbers and such. That's where Sven, what is it, Jorgensen, I think the guy's name is. He's got a very interesting quest chain that you do for him. I think he's actually responsible in some way for his family's death. For his family's murder. Can't remember the particulars of the case, but uh, yep. There we go. That is the, uh, the black bear. Done. Untrack that. Gonna track this one. Let's go see about Morbid Fell and see if this is doable. I am interested to see what the deal is. Got all kinds of ghouls we have to slay. Some of these things, it might be the plague spreaders. They drop like, uh, or they summon, well, I don't know what happens if they summon them or whatever, but there's like these little maggots that come out. Pretty annoying. I love how dark it gets. I think that's our man right there. Oh, that's Morladim. He is an elite. I wonder how we would fare against him. Uh, let me mark him up. Oh, hello there. What a grave. This is here in Classic. I'm pretty sure it is. The weathered grave marker reads simply Morgan Latimer. Uh, Latimer. Upon further examination, you notice that dirt over the grave has been recently disturbed and that a good amount of the dirt seems to have been displaced. Spooky. Speak with Sarah Von Indy in Darkshire. Okay, we'll do that. I love this area up here. It's so creepy. It gets so dark and spooky. somebody walking around in here. There's somebody running around in here.
Yikes. Yeah, this is one of the most dangerous areas to be in. Especially a hardcore challenge in Classic. There's a greater healing pot. Hello there. These, these uh, character models definitely been updated. I love it. Hello there. Oh, that's male. Can't wear that. What is this? It's a blood-soaked hat. Okay, that's interesting. I don't think I've ever done this in uh, in retail. I've I've not uh, done this. A blood soaked hat. Um, I'm kind of wanting to take this guy on. I think we're gonna get absolutely destroyed. I've got a health pot. Let me put this on the bar here. Let's see. Let's see how we do here. I don't have high hopes uh, with this. I'm gonna do ice barrier. Gonna freeze him in place. Not doing a lot of damage here. Oh, I think we've got this guy. Okay. Got him down. Well, uh, let's. We may as well. Uh, let's get the rest of these ghouls. We need 13 more. Looks like everything counts. <clears throat> I'm actually kind of happy to see that uh, the plague spreaders don't summon the little maggot things. They're pretty annoying. Yeah, I gotta say, I think uh, Duskwood pro or Darkshire probably, Duskwood uh, is probably my favorite Probably my favorite zone. Oh, there are the worms. There are the worms. The rotted ones, that's right. The, the rotted ones drop the, uh, or summon whatever, <laughs> the maggots. Yeah, we're getting this done fairly quick. God, that was terrible sounding. <laughs> so, another difference I'm noticing, uh, this area it's like this. It looks the same, but there are uh, also spiders. Yeah, there are these spiders also running around, making it even more interesting. But I do think it's one of the better... Um, as far as quest lines and the effort that Blizzard put into the stories... It's I think it's hard to find a better place than than this this whole zone. 
with uh, Abercrombie and Morbid Fell. Jitters and uh, Sven. Really good stuff. I don't think we need the spiders. Not yet, anyway. Well, we already did the spiders. Yeah, we've got some... Uh, we got some dusky lumps, I think. And we may have gotten some venom. Yeah, we're cruising right along. We just need three more here. Hello there. A rotting horror. Let's see if they count. I don't know if they count. I don't think it counted. Alrighty, here we go. Last one. So there's Abercrombie's shack over there, except he's not he's not there in uh, retail. But this is where you'll find him in Classic. Alrighty, let's go turn this in. I forgot we have a, uh, a mount. <laughs> Hello there. Oh, is this, uh, this must be a pet. Yeah, this is a pet, uh, battle thing. Person. So up there, this this is where we got uh, destroyed by, I guess, a, uh, a fire dot. What can I do for last you? episode or episode before? Thank you, oh thank you! I never thought I'd uh, be happy to smell those brains, but uh, I am now, and I didn't have to get them. Okay, this is a nice little upgrade for us, and that is a level. We also got some shoulders. Oh, we already have shoulders. I didn't think we had any yet. Level 18. It looks like we got Cone of Cold. Uh, targets in a cone in front of you take 33 frost damage and have a movement speed slowed by 50%. Seems pretty good. We're going to put this on the bar here. And uh, did we get anything else? We have Conjure Refreshment, which... <laughs> yeah, that's all we got. Okay. Very nice. Let's check in with... Uh, this is Sven right here. His clothes and bloodstains. If it's not tricks, it's something worse. Ah, the Lurking Lich. The others here share my suspicion. Morbid Fell lives on in undeath. And maybe... Uh, may be even more powerful than before. A necromancer was struck down, but a lich may have risen in his place. And now he continues to ruin this land. I remember Duskwood before all this, Susie. I remember bright skies and peaceful woods. This can't stand. Morbid Fell must be stopped. Speak to Sister Elsington. Her vision might guide you to where Melbit... Melbent... <laughs> Morbid Fell is. Okay. Alrighty. Um... She's right here. Hello. Ain't you a chipper looking one? Eh, I'll take that as a compliment. It's heartening to see one so recently recovered be so concerned with the plight of others. Sven spares himself, suffering by not dwelling on his own misfortune. Sven is correct. I can feel the presence of a powerful evil, evil deep beneath the Ravenhill Cemetery. Evil lurks in his catacombs, and Morbent Fell must be the source. You will need the power of the light to strike him down, Susie. Sven told me the heroes who first slew Mormont Fell wielded an artifact of light-forged iron imbued with holy power. That artifact is still here. I can feel it as 
I can feel it as well, a glimmer of light amidst the darkness. Search Raven Hill for it and let the light guide you. Okay? Find the Light Forge rod in Raven Hill Cemetery. Keep your chin up, eh? Uh, oh, this is an upgrade too. The cries go softer now. Light bless you, Susie. You wouldn't want to see me when I'm angry. No, I wouldn't. All right, got some nice upgrades there. Let's sell some stuff off here to Wilkinson. Open for business. Good. I'm glad you are, sir. Sell all of this. No need to keep it. Do I want to keep this health pot? Maybe I do. Restore 68 health. <laughs> Doesn't seem like a lot. A completely empty bags for the most part. I guess we'll hang on to that stuff. Long live, Grey May. Uh, what are we doing on time? 20 minutes in. Okay, well, I'll tell you what. Well, we don't have to search because it's clearly marked. <laughs> so let's run to the question mark and uh, see what's going on here. Like I said, I don't know that I've done this in retail. Um, I mean, I've dealt with Morbent Fell uh, in Classic, CBC, and I got all kinds of stuff after me. So, I know there's, when I've done this quest in the past, I, you do get something, and it basically, I think it knocks the elite status off of him. So, maybe that's what this is. Uh, buried in the cold dirt, you find a brilliant metal shaft, but there are holes where pieces of the artifact are clearly missing. In front of you, the bearer slopes down towards the dark entrance of the crypts. You can feel the tug of the light-forged artifact urging you towards it. Okay, find the, the light-forged arch within Dawning Wood Catacombs. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. There's a lot more things here, and... This is a this is like one of the, another one of the most dangerous places. This thing is crawling with these things. Anyway, I think we're going to run What is that? Uh, let's see if we can skirt along the outside here. I don't know why we're not pulling these things. I mean, I'm glad that we're not. Yeah, what a creepy place. Okay. I was beginning to wonder if we could even aggro these things. We clearly can. We're going to have two on us. What are they doing? They're uh, fading in and out on me. I guess that's their ability. These things are actually pretty damn tough here. Okay. Got him down. Uh, in this dirt of this alcove, your eye catches the shine of a brilliant metal. You found another piece of the artifact. Okay. Search the tunnel under the dawning wood catacombs for the light forge crest. Okay, we're just looking for pieces. Should be able to get through here. What kind of creepy crawlies are we going to find in here? A fiend? A writhing terror? Okay. So I'm pretty sure this will come up, uh, like, over here. Well, not this far, but it'll come up at the other crypt entrance or exit, depending on how you look at it. These icicles really kind of fucking bug me. <laughs> Especially in close quarters like this. 
there probably is a way to turn those off. I need to I need to do it. It's kind of a cool effect at first, but then it's like, okay. Like I can see them here, you know? Right up here. There probably is a way to turn them off. Okay. Uh, use Morbent's Bane to weaken Morbent Fell and defeat him. So this is the same, uh, kind of the same thing. Uh, nice. We get another ring, and it's actually a blue ring. It says, further down the tunnel, away from the direction you came from, a heinous crackle rings out. It's the clattering laugh of a lich. How the hell is he hitting me? Damn it. I don't know if you guys can hear that, like, little, um, a heartbeat there. He's casting Blizzard on me. Damn, that scared me. The wrong thing targeted. So these guys are frost mages as well. There he is. There he is. have an interrupt wait don't do I have an interrupt blizzard shoot cone of cold I thought we had a counter spell where's this why is this not on my bar I feel like this used to be on my bar. Okay, let's have counter spell up there. Usually, if something's not on your bar, it will uh, it'll glow uh, when you're looking at it in the spell book. All right, where is this? Oh, it's right here. We're going to make sure we clear out here. My goodness. Interrupt that. Pop that. Touch of death does not sound good. Oh, 
Okay. We can't loot him? Surely we can loot Morbent Fell. I just want to have a look up here. Oh, they they all died. Interesting. All right, I don't feel like this is an area to hang around in. He's probably has a quick uh, respawn. Okay. So we should come up the other side. There we go. All right, let's uh, well, let's go turn this in, and then we can either hearth or take a fly back to Darkshire. Hopefully, I don't get dismounted because I got uh, an ass load of stuff after me. Look out! Look at that. We just leveled, didn't we? And we are uh, we're like two and a piece bars away. Uh, may the disgusting monster stay dead this time. I'll head down there and scatter his remains to ash myself, Susie. You've done a great thing. Perhaps in time, Duskwood can return to its former peaceful state. Well, we will take that ring. Chuck that right there. We'll switch those two. Very nice. All right, we got. Uh, we did level up, level nineteen. Looks like we have flurry. Unleash a flurry of ice, striking the target three times for a total of one hundred and twenty frost damage. Each hit, each hit reduces the target's movement speed by seventy percent for one second. Okay, that's <laughs> that's a lot. Cost eight mana. Three second cast. Where do I want this? I think I'm going to want this in my rotation here. Probably going to have to re rework this a little bit. Let me make sure we didn't get anything else. Don't see anything. A couple of passives. Okay. That's a passive talent as well. All right. Well, let's go to Wahrth to uh, Darkshire. Lovely. So where is this uh Sira von Indy? Oh, I know who this is. This is yeah, this is the guy right in here. I do remember this guy. This guy's also in classic. Greetings. Hello there. Morgan Latimer. Ah, yes, of course. He was a long and it his was a long and sorrowful tale. I knew him well before he left the war. The reading today. Uh, a noble and good man he was, but he suffered a bad end. Here, I should have something here that can tell the tale better than my own recollections. He searches through the shelves and comes up with a leather-bound book. If you would like to know more, you may ask Althea. She's been the one to handle the trouble with him of late. Speak with Commander Althea Ebenlock of Darkshire. God bless you. Alrighty. She's right out here. I believe this is the mayor. I think it's his wife. Hello. Hello. Morgan Lattimore. Never heard of Oh, you mean Morla Dim? I guess you haven't heard the story. Well, I give you the I'll give you the short version. A powerful undead calling itself Morla Dim has been wandering Duskwood. Yes, we killed him. <laughs> From what we've gathered, it appears to be the undead body of Morgan Lattimore. Uh, of whom you apparently know. He's been causing us all sorts of problems, attacking watchmen on patrol and killing people. You seem capable enough. Maybe you could lay him to rest. Perhaps. Suggested players three. <laughs> okay. Well, we know where he is. We'll do this. We will do it. Let's take a quick repair. Sell a few things. Greetings. Greetings, my friend. Maybe we'll take a read through that book. For the Alliance. For the Alliance. 
Alrighty. Well, what are we doing? Okay, about 35 minutes in. I guess we can call it. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Got a couple of things done. I guess we'll go back and deal uh, with Morley Dim next episode. And from there, I'm not sure what we're going to do. We uh, may head here. We'll see if this has a follow-up. I'm not sure what happens after this. I felt like there was going to be more to do with uh, Abercrombie, but apparently not. Anyway, thanks very much for choosing to hang out with me for a little bit. I do appreciate it. You guys and gals take care. Susie and I will catch you in the next episode. Till we meet again. Take care and peace. <laughs>